Hello mga kaisip mat! Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. It's Mega Teacher Koy of Isip Mat Tutorial. And for today's video, pag-usapan po natin yung ating Grade 8 Mathematics Quarter 4, Module 5. Okay, Module 5 na po tayo. At ang ating topic ay Parallelism and Perpendicularity. Pero bago pang lahat, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and follow our Facebook page, Isip Mat Tutorial. And don't forget to join our Facebook group, DepEd Teachers Files. Okay, so let's start. Our learning competencies, we have here determine the conditions under which lines and segments are parallel or perpendicular. At ang ating previous lesson, ipakusapan mo natin doon kung ano po yung parallel lines, di ba? We know that in geometry, parallel lines can be defined as two lines in the same plane that are at equal distance from each other and never meet. So, kumbaga, parang pinagtagpo pero hindi tinadhana. Diba? Yan po sila. So, yan po yung parallel lines. Tapos, yung objectives po natin. At the end of the lesson, you're expected to determine and prove the conditions under which lines and segments are parallel. And determine the condition under which lines and segments are perpendicular. And prove the conditions under which lines and segments are perpendicular. Okay? So, our lesson 1, we have here parallelism. If two lines are cut by transversal, di ba nung nakarang, nakarang lesson po natin, transversal lines, siya po yung line na, kumbaga, dumaan dun sa ating dalawang lines na parallel, di ba? Then, two lines are parallel if alternate interior angles are congruent, di ba? Meron na, napag-usapan natin dun yung, ano yung mga alternate interior angles, meron din tayong alternate exterior angles are also congruent and corresponding angles are congruent. And same side interior angles are supplementary. Pag sinabi natin supplementary, we sabihin, if we add that two angles, the result is, yes, exactly 180. 180. And same side exterior angles are supplementary. Okay. So, napag-usapan po natin ito nung nakarang lesson po natin. Yung mga alternate interior, interior angles, alternate exterior angles. Pag sinabi natin interior, it means between the two lines. Diba? Nasa loob po sila yung exterior andun po sa labas ng parallel then corresponding angles are also congruent and same side yung same side interior angles yung makapareho po sila ng side interior na sa loob tapos yung same side exterior same side pero exterior since yung angle dun sa labas okay so we have here lesson 1 parallelism example determine whether the lines are parallel or not justify your answers okay so, we have here the example. We have these two lines. Diba? And then, we have this transversal line. Okay. So, these lines are parallel because a pair of corresponding angles are equal. So, this angle, ang measurement po niya 110 degrees. And this angle also is 110 degrees. And this angle and this angle are corresponding angles. Diba? So, kung babalik po tayo sa ating previous lesson, um, corresponding angles are congruent. So, with this example, we can say that this, that the lines are parallel because of the corresponding angles which is equal in measurement. Okay. So, next example, we have this one. We have these two lines here and our transversal. And we have this angle, 81 degrees, and the other angle is 101 degrees. So, these lines are not parallel. Bakit po hindi parallel tong dalawang lines ito? Because a pair of same side interior angles do not add up to 180 degrees. Diba? Yung same side interior, since nasa loob po sila ng dalawang lines, diba? in between these two lines, same side interior angles dapat supplementary. It means, if we add that two angles, is equal to 180 degrees. But since these two angles, pag na-add natin, hindi po mag-equal ng 180 degrees, the result is 182 degrees, so therefore, these two lines are not parallel. Okay, so for our lesson 2, I hope na intindihan po natin yung ating lesson 1. Lesson 2, perpendicularity. Ano po itong perpendicularity? Two lines or segments or rays that intersect to form right angles are said to be perpendicular. So, yung dalawang lines or segments or rays na nag-meet po sila at nakapag-form ng 90 degrees, di ba, right angle 90 degrees, we can say that the two lines are perpendicular. A perpendicular bisector of a segment is a line or array or another segment that is perpendicular 
to the segment and intersects the segment at its midpoint. Ibig sabihin nito, kung meron dalawang lines or rays or segment na perpendicular 90 degrees, yung ating perpendicular by sector, kung maghahinati po sila into two equal angles, di ba? The distance between two parallel lines is the perpendicular distance between one of the lines and any point on the other line. Okay, so para mas maintindihan po natin, we have here the example, perpendicularity. So, this one. Okay, so we can say that these two lines are perpendicular because ito ba? Right angle. Diba? And this one also. Yung isa, ito yung purma niya, o itsura niya. Yung isa ganito, pero nakaform po sila ng right angles or 90 degrees. So, it means perpendicular. And this one also, also perpendicular. Okay? So, perpendicular by sector, we have here uh, x, y, and y, z. Is equal to x, y is congruent to y, z. Because this line, hinati po siya ng line na to. So, x, y is congruent to y, z. Diba? Midpoint po siya dito. Okay. And this one also, we have here two lines are parallel. Meron po siyang line dito. And they form 90 degrees. So, therefore, this line is perpendicular to this lines which are parallel. Diba? Okay, so the small rectangle drawn in the corner indicates the right angle. This one. Pag mayroong sign na ganito, it means right angle or 90 degrees. Okay, so whereas this one, this symbol is a symbol used to indicate perpendicularity of lines. Kung wala pong ganito, yung symbol ng right angle, ito po siya. Sa baba, parang um, upside down na letter T na capital, di ba? Okay, so that's, that is a symbol of perpendicularity. Okay, so we have here, to prove that two lines are perpendicular, you must show that one of the following theorems is true. Still on perpendicularity, dapat merong, uh, kumbaga, nasunod po to, itong mga theorems na to. First is, if two lines are perpendicular to each other, then they form four right angles. Kung may dalawang lines po na perpendicular, Diba, right angle po siya, perpendicular, 90 degrees. So, apat po sila na 90 degrees. Yeah, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. So, if line M and line N are perpendicular, then we can conclude that angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, and angle 4 are right angles. Okay. Number 2. Second theorem. If the angles in a linear pair are congruent, then the lines containing their sides are perpendicular. Ano po ba yung linear pair? Okay, so we have here the example, this line and this line. So we have line 1 and line 2. Okay, sorry. So we have line 1 and line 2. If angle 1, this one angle 1 and angle 2, this one, a linear pair. Ibig sabihin, and ibig sabihin ito, a linear pair, if we add angle and angle 2, equal to 180, 180 degrees. Diba? Naka a linear pair. Okay, and angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Kapag congruence yung angle 1 kay angle 2, therefore, we can say that line 1 and line 2 are perpendicular. Diba? Kasi, 90 degrees si angle 1. Of course, angle 2 is also 90 degrees. Diba? And we add angle 1 to angle 2, the result is 180 degrees. Nakapagbukupis lang ng linear pair. Okay, so number 3, third theorem. If two angles are adjacent and complementary. Ano pa ba tong adjacent at saka complementary? Adjacent means meron po silang um, common side. Ba? Yung complementary, if we add that two angles, the result is 90 degrees. Ba? So, the non-common side are perpendicular. So, we have here the example. We have um, angle CAR, this small angle, and also angle EAR. This big angle, bigger angle, are complementary. Okay? Because if we add this small angle and this bigger angle, the result is 90 degrees. Diba? And adjacent. Diba? Complementary and adjacent. They are adjacent because of this side, common side po siya. This side is, meron si, si AR nito. Diba? AR. Side AR. And side AR also, ay meron din si angle E A R, ba? Present din si side A R. So therefore, segment A R or ray A R is common to both angles. 
And if we add these two angles, the result is 90 degrees. Look at the symbol, di ba? They're complementary. So therefore, yung non-common side, saan po yung non-common side? AR is the common side. So yung non-common side natin ay si AC at saka si AE. Di ba? If you add these two angles, the small angle and, this, and the bigger angle, 90 degrees yung result, they're complementary. Therefore, yung non-common side nila are perpendicular. Diba? A, C, and A. Okay, so that's it. Yan po yung ating tatlong theorems. And for our lesson number three, we have proven perpendicular lines. So recall the conditions to prove perpendicular lines. Yung condition natin kanina, yung tatlong theorems. And then we have the example. Refer to the given figure. We have this one. Okay? So... What we're going to do is we'll answer the question. Okay, so if the measurement of angle 1 is equal to 3x plus 15 and the measurement of angle 2 is equal to 4x minus 10, then prove that segment CT is perpendicular to segment UE. Saan po si CT? This one, CT. Dapat perpendicular kay UE. Diba? If x is equal to 25. So, prove natin na si CT ay perpendicular ni UE. Given this um, conditions, diba? The measurement of angle 1 is, is equal to 3x plus 15 and the measurement of angle 2 is equal to 4x minus 10 and the value of x is equal to 25. So, what we're going to do is we'll substitute the value of x. Diba? Okay. So, since yung measurement natin ng angle 1 is 3x plus 15, magiging ganito. Okay. Substitute, substitute 25 to the x or x or variable x so magiging the measurement of angle 1 is equal to 3 times x which is 25 plus 15 then simplify the measurement of angle 1 is equal to 75 plus 15 is equal to 90 since angle 1 is a right angle it follows that angle 2 is also a right angle but this one angle 1 right angle so therefore it means angle 2 is also a right angle diba and they form a linear pair. Therefore, segment CT is perpendicular to segment UE. So, CT is perpendicular to segment UE. Okay, so next, number two, we have here, if the measurement of angle 2 is equal to x plus 40, then what is the value of x to prove that CT is perpendicular to UE? This time, yung ating measurement of angle 2 is, is equal to x plus 40. Tapos, ano raw yung value ni x? na makapag-prove na si CT, this one, CT, at ang figure, CT is perpendicular to UE. A solution, to prove that CT is perpendicular to UE, angle 2 must be a right angle. Yes, dapat right angle po si angle 2. Para ma-prove natin na si CT ay perpendicular kay UE. So, magiging ganito, measurement of angle 2 is equal to 90 degrees. By substitution, yung ating measurement angle 2 is x plus 40 substitute natin dito diba x plus 40 is equal to 90 degrees kasi dapat 90 degrees eh na measurement ang ating angle 2 then by subtraction property we have now x is equal to 50 bakit nagiging x is equal to 50 um addition property of equality we will transfer or we will add both sides by negative 40 para matanggal si positive 40 dito sa left side tapos malipat sa dun sa right side at nagiging negative 40. Diba? So, 90 minus 40, the result is 50. So, x is equal to 50. Okay? So, dapat yung volume x is 50 para po na ma-prove natin na si CT ay perpendicular ni UE. If we substitute 50 sa ating original equation na measurement of angle is equal to x plus 40 or x is 50, so therefore, 50 plus 40, the result is 90 degrees. Okay, therefore, the value of x to prove that CT is perpendicular to UE is 50. Okay, so that's it. Sana po, uh, nag-gets po yung ibig natin sabihin. So, learning is a never-ending process. So, kaya, aral na mabuti para ang buhay ay bumuti. Once again, this is Teacher Koy of Easy Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.